Welcome back, beautiful beings. I have this vintage technique I wanted to share with you. Well, you can use it on anything. But I got an envelope here. Okay. Try to find an envelope that has no writing on the side you're using. This one has writing on that side. That don't have writing on this side. And all I'm gonna do is glue this with Mod Podge shut. But I wanted it to look like I just it it got saved out of a old book. This is for fireworks. It's vintage firework ads. But I wanted it to look like it got tore out of a book and saved. And it served the purpose perfectly. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what I did. I glued the envelope like this. But we're going to use the side with nothing on it. I'll bring this in. Here's another ad. For these, I'm using Distressed Vintage Photo. Okay. And I'm just going to put that on the edges. I hope I'm not shaking you too much. <laughs> and then, that don't have enough. There, it's still light, white. Alright, let me take some Mod Podge. And I did go around this with Vintage Photo too. As you can see, I did the edges. Okay, I inked them up too. And then you glue it down. And then you can wait for it to dry. I, I suggest that. And then you take envelope. And just rip it. These are all envelopes I just glued shut and I made sure I used the side with no wording. Okay, beautiful beings. And make it look as more or less as you want. Okay. And it just looks like it's from an old page. from a magazine or booklet. I didn't know if they had magazines back then. They probably did. Magazines or booklet <laughs> we'll go with. Then just ink it up. I'm trying not to shake the table but it's not working. And you can put as much ink on them or as less ink as you want. I'm making these ones for my patriotic pocket files. I just wanted, I want some of them for a pocket. You can use these for a pocket. You can use them for collage. You can use them for embellishments, whatever you want, beautiful games. Use them for whatever you want. If you want, you can even like make it thicker after you got this down. Glue it to a piece of cardboard. But I don't know about the shaping. The shaping might be a little off. But if you can get the shaping down on the cardboard, you can make a magnet with it. And put it on a fridge. Or give it as a gift. Like if you find something vintage that somebody likes, you know, it could be about anything. It's something they like. Even shoes, purses, old cars, old motorcycles, anything. You can make it more look more vintage. I want to put some more in here. Okay. 
We're just going for that vintage look, beautiful bands. And I hope you're not shaking. Okay. There you go. Those two. I'll do this one later. I wanted to show you this. Make sure I got the right ones. I think I want that one on this one. This one on that one. This one, I just went around. This has been sitting up in my craft room for a long time. But I just went around it with fancy scissors. If you don't have fancy scissors, you can just groove in and out. And I'm using Age of Mahogany. No, this is not the right one. This is not the right one, sorry. What I did is I used Victorian Velvet because I wanted to match this. Okay, so I had to use two colors. And I'm just gonna go around the edges. Okay, and as you can see, that color doesn't really match that color. So what I did is I brought in dried marigold and mixed the two colors. I gotta push lighter on here. And then that makes it match that color more. It blends them together nice. But I gotta use this softly. I can't push hard with this one. Okay. You want it right there. I'm gonna tear that off so I'm not worried about that. See how that matches it better now? It just blends the colors in together. I'm gonna glue this up. And I'm gonna put her right in the middle of all that. Glue her down. I have glue under my nail, beautiful beings. I'm trying to keep my hands clean so I don't get dried glue on anything. Move this one out of the way. Bring this one in. This one's going here. I'm gonna cut this. That one's going there. Another envelope I glued together. Just junk mail, or if you got a brand new envelope that comes in a junk mail, or you can just use whatever envelope you have. <laughs> and I'm gonna ink this up. I'm using Aged Mahogany Distress Oxide because it matches their hat, beautiful beings. Right in the middle, there. And if they get wrinkly, that's just a plus because then it looks even more vintage. That's why I chose envelopes. Instead of like, well, a paper bag would work too if you have a paper bag, but the colors that I'm inking up wouldn't show very well. And it might turn a different color because the brown mixed with the color you're using. So I just stuck with white envelopes. But see how that's wafering? <laughs> but that's all right. All right. Then we have this one. And I'm just going to tear it. I've been wanting to use these up because I made a bunch of stuff with these. These three, but I didn't finish some of them. So they're sitting up there for like a while, a couple of years, maybe four. <laughs> and I'm thinking, well, I might as well show them something besides a firework thing. So I went and grabbed some to show you. I knew I wanted to use these up eventually. Right, this one, let's, I don't know, let's mix some colors here. I'm going to go with this color, just so there's a couple colors. She has some pop of color in her. Using aged mahogany. 
I'm not too sure about these. It's like a scorching pad, kinda. But I mean, it works, but you have to really get that ink on them. Cause I don't know if I'd buy those kind of toppers. These toppers work great, the white ones. And then the other ones with kind of, I don't even know, felt on top a little bit maybe. I don't know. Just putting that out there. <laughs> I get random sometimes, don't I, beautiful beings? I just randomly tell you something. But obviously you don't mind because you keep viewing and you keep subscribing. So thank you for that. <laughs> okay. So that one's mixed. I don't know if that's going to look good. Oh, it gives her some color. Then we're going to take this and go around it. Let's blend it in. I mean, these work once they get going. They work really good, but it just reminds me of a scorching pad. Use a clean the sink of the sink of the oven or something. <laughs> A pan <laughs> but they do work I mean they're not as hard as that but they are if that makes any sense because obviously it would be ripping the paper if they were really hard but they're not too hard all right let's pop some of the aged, aged mahogany in there here and there this down yeah one with an old car for some like grandpa or something <laughs> I don't know I never knew my grandparents but I wish I did my mom had me when she was 42 beautiful beings but yeah like a vintage old car black and white one and put this down and do this and then like put it on a piece of cardboard behind it maybe a circle one where you know you don't see it and then make a magnet for them and stick it on the fridge. That'd be awesome. I think they'd look awesome. Okay, these obviously need to dry. Here's another one I didn't do. This is more vintage. Another vintage firework ad. For the patriotic pocket files I'm making. And sometimes your envelope might wrinkle, but I think it just adds more of effect of the vintage look. See how that's coming through? Even if you just want aged paper, just glue the envelope together, pick a white one, and when it don't have no writing on it, and you get that effect, because that looks pretty cool to me. I don't know about you, but it does to me. <laughs> And then I'm going to put that there. I already went around this with ink. Let's see where I want it. I want it like right in. I love that look. I do. kind of want to make sure that's straight. I don't even know if this is cut straight, but I'm going with it. <laughs> I'm going with it. I love that. I think it would make a really nice looking pocket. I have gold stars we could put down it. Let's do that now so I don't forget because I have a tendency getting an idea and then forgetting it I like these stars I think I got them from Dollar Tree they come in gold and silver I didn't need that many beautiful things I did not <laughs> all right so let's glue some stars here and there I think I'm just going to leave it. I don't even want to rip it. I like it. And I should go around the edges too. I should have done that before I did this, but it's okay. And these stars, you can put them backwards or you can put them front ways. If you put them front ways, you need a thicker gulp of glue. Okay. To hold them on there because they're going up a little bit. They, they kind of, here I'll show you, I'll show you, see how they curl up, 
And then if we put the right side, there's like a, I don't know if you can see that. See that? Humps up. Look, we used them all. We used all the gold ones on the table. And I think I'm just going to put that one that way because that one's up there. There. See? And that's a cute pocket, I think. Okay. I'm going to get this cleaned up. these just rip it these would make great collages pockets you can use them for collages pockets embellishments anything you want beautiful beings okay beautiful beings i'm using victorian velvet and I'm using dried marigold distress oxide ink. And there's that. And that can be an embellishment or a collage, collage piece. Spit that out to me. So. <laughs> okay. And then let's rip this one. You can hand sew around them too, beautiful beings. Now, we need both colors for this one. I'm using dried marigold first. And it's kind of bright and then I'm gonna to tone it down with Victorian velvet okay beautiful beings we can even go around that with lace if you wanted to and what else am I done gluing yes I got this one I want to use hopefully I rip it right I have to rip it anyway so it fits because it's too long it was too long to begin with for my pocket files. So hopefully this fits. I'll probably go up and get you some lace. I don't even know if I have lace that matches. So <laughs> we didn't do that one. I might just do a swirly thing on that. You don't have to rip them off. See what? Let's just like follow the, we can just follow the circles, okay? And then we can redo it, okay? Just follow the circles that the anchor made, okay? All I'm doing. jumping all over the place. <sighs> there. Look at that. It's a pocket. Funny shape, shape pocket. You can glue something on it if you want it heavier. Just glue it down on something and then cut around it again. And you can even make another layer behind it. Behind this. If you wanted to. There. I don't know if that appeals to you. I like it. It's different, unique. Yeah, that definitely. If you're not gonna use this for like, like if you collage something and you wanna stick it, you can use that like in the center or something. Or you can just use it for an embellishment or you can use it for a pocket. All right, sorry. I'm getting random again, jumping all over the place. <laughs> Tear this off. So 
whatever. That's finally done. You can leave it like that too. You don't have to go around it with ink. Okay. But let's see. What pocket file was I going to put that in? I had one that was wider than the other. The blue one. This one. Let's see, it's still too big. But I like it like that. So I might just stick it in there and then I can, I don't know, put a put a piece of lace here or something. Cover that up. I don't know. Or I could just glue it on the back of it before I glue it down so there's a piece of lace sticking there. What do you think? But that's the widest one I have. The other ones are shorter because of the way I bend them. Folded them over, but I like that. And I kind of want to keep the white. I don't want to ink this one up, but that one's going in one of these pockets, in this one somewhere. I might even do it in here to cover that up or something. Fit might be better on the out. Yeah, I could put a piece of, watch, I'll show you. And I'll go get lace for them. We gotta do this one. Hang on. <laughs> Let's do this one. And I think, I love this right here. I love the wrinkle look with the ink on it. But this one I'm gonna tear straight up. I'm not gonna go in and out or close. And it might be easier for you to find one that doesn't have a window on the other side. I'm gonna leave that like that because I like that on the bottom and I like that there. It just looks like it came from the folder or something. And you gotta turn it in this too, this inker. I mean, it works, it's just more effort. And then there's a piece of plastic sticking out there. We might as well leave it. <laughs> it just gives it another detail, why not, right? Why not? And then, then this needs glued down more. So I'll put some glue on there. There we go. I'm gonna go get lace for these three. I think I was leaving that one there, wasn't I? I don't know. I don't like the end, no, it's not straight, so we're gonna straighten it up. That's when we get ripped, so I am straight. Is there any straighter? <laughs> oh, oh. Straight enough, I guess. Right. So let's find some lace. These are beans. For those ones. And get the ink out of the way. Hey, beautiful beings, here's all the ones for the patriotic one. I'm gonna move these out of the way. I kind of went a little crazy. <laughs> all these colors match the two pockets. Well, three now because I put it on there. Let's make sure I got everything in view. Let's see. So let's get started. I have this ribbon and I have this ribbon and I either got these from LA Express or might even been Etsy maybe. I don't want to put some of the butterflies on there. You know, just in a spot or two, figure out where I want them. Then I got this. And then I got this. These are flowers. And I just want one of these. I was going to say, please find a start. So I don't have to pull the whole thing, but these what these look like. And all this stuff is from Etsy or LA Express. I don't remember. I'm sorry, <laughs> but you can find it. Just look up 
flowers. Um, I'd say maybe homemade flowers, maybe in different laces. Okay, I want. I think I want her to have butterflies. I don't know. I don't want that word though. I need a couple butterflies. So I'm gonna just wig, wedge, cut in and out there. Cut that off. But if you like this, look up butterfly trim or butterfly ribbon. But I think it's trim. Okay. And then so we got butterfly for her. And I, of course, want some pearls with her. Maybe hang it somewhere. I'm going to cut a piece of this off. And hold it down with the, one of the ribbons or something. And I don't know. I think I want this. On her I like the flower to go across there. So let's give her butterflies. We'll cut it to here. And then we'll cut this off. I don't even know what that says. Does anybody know what that says? B dot. Yakabin hop heap. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know beautiful things. If I don't know what something means, I'm not using it. <laughs> okay. Maybe we put across the top, maybe. Make them all look different. Then I got this. I'm gonna use over here. that off. Should have the fabric scissors. And then I got this that I wanted to use on her too. But all this is from the same place except for this is Dollar Tree. And let's put this across there like that. And then I want this. Which one? This look good on both of them. Both of them would. Both of them would. That seems like it needs something more. I might put words on that one too. This one too. Across there. Cut this off. Okay. I'm just deciding where I want everything. So I'm just going to fast forward through that part. I just don't, here, I don't like that. So let's do this. I don't like that straight. Fine. I should have my fabrics for this. For real. So I'm just going to do it a little. I don't like that corner. That's okay because it's round. I'm getting stuff on the other stuff. I'm gonna put that right there. That. Maybe that one. And then some more glue down. Just a piece. on there to hold that. I'm going to glue this down. 
What we got going over here, beautiful beings? This is going to be on like this. I don't think it needs anything under it, basically. But I might as well. This is mauve. I want some mauve in here. I don't know if this will fit over here, but I'm using this one. I'm using the mauve. Okay, let's push that up there on the picture. A little bit or there it's got something under it and then find the bottom of this and I'm just gonna put the blue right here where you're not gonna see it and enough to hold that flower down Get it open Get blue on that one. There. Then we got the top. Hmm. <laughs> of course, we're going to do the same thing. I'm getting this out of the way so the bits don't get lost. I'm just going to go up. I don't like that straight line. I like that. I want mom up there though. It's better and I might cut one of these off and it's probably gonna be that one on the end or oh. yep. yep 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 <laughs> I put them upside down beautiful beings I need to wipe my fingers off. There. That's pretty much done. I think it's done. What do we got going on over here? No, I wanted to use this. Use it. And I wanted to use it with her. <laughs> uh. Here, let's do this. I'm going to have to get my fabric scissors. Way faster. I got my fabric scissors. I'm gonna cut this down. So we got this butterfly, it's floating around. I don't know what to put there now. I think she needs a butterfly, but just one, I don't know. I don't think that looks right. Just does not look right. It's better on the ribbon with the other ones, but what I want to do. I do want to put some of this down. So let's just glue this all up. And then we'll figure out what I want to do. I'm thinking I need something there. That flower does not match this. I think I'm just going to glue this there. But where do I want this cut? I want that there. 
Am I gonna need more glue? Nah. I'm not even worrying about the fray on the ends. Okay, beautiful beings. Because it's old fashioned after all. I don't know if I can get there. Pick and wait. Or, let's do this. Put a tiny bit of glue all the way down there. Right. Measure it. Put that on there. Okay. Still need something in there, I think. I don't know what. I think. I do want this. Should have put one over there too. I can still do that. Let's put one underneath and then over there we'll put one on top. Put one over there on the inside and one on the outside. Well I guess they're both gonna be on the other side. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I need something here, right there. So I'm going to cut a little piece of this off if I can find the beginning of it. But I don't want it too big, but I want that big piece. I think it's somewhere. Okay, beautiful beings. I made this a long time ago. Everything's a long time ago, I know. Okay, all I did was take a ribbon and I sewed the bottom. I went in and out with a stitch and then I pulled it together and that's how I got this. If you look up on YouTube how to make flowers out of ribbon or roses out of ribbon, you'll find lots and lots of videos of how to make them. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Hey, I bet you I stick that through there. Because I don't want to have to worry about setting something on this. So I'm going to try to put that in a hole and pull it through. Come on. There we go. Pull that through all the way until that meets where I want it. Then we're gonna glue this down. Yeah, I didn't have a sewing machine, beautiful guys. So I used to hand sew. But now I don't have to anymore. Thank goodness. <laughs> I don't care that's sticking up because I put it in something. It's gonna end up bending down anyway. See, I just bend it down. It's easy to work with. And we're gonna do our rows. I don't even know if I 
should have laid this down to see which way it was going to lay. Get this out of the way. I want it to lay right there. Yeah. Something like that. I want that around it. And this thing somewhere. Let's see. How's that going to look? I don't know. I should have laid it down before I put the glue on it. I think it's going to be alright. I'll lay it this way. It should be alright. Okay, beautiful beings. Okay, beautiful beings. I'm going to give you a close-up of all of them. So you see detail. I think they turned out really awesome. So if you ever want anything vintage, here you go. <laughs> and I did put a gem in here with some thread. And there's that butterfly trim. I forgot one, didn't I? I didn't even have that down there. Here's this one. And that butterfly trim and to hold down the pearls I used a piece of that mesh and a piece of lace the pearls and her miss J.E. Gorst <laughs> hey beautiful beings thanks for watching have a wonderful everything